Radio. I'm concerned about Viola de Winter. She came through on that morning star shipment. But that does not mean she can be trusted, yes? I don't know what it means, but maybe I can find out. Hold on, no, like. I hope you were happy with the information I gave you. It worked out. Why'd you do it? Because we should talk. We're talking now. In person. Meet me at the address I'm sending. You expect me to come alone? Bring someone if you like. Oh, like, let's get some answers. I didn't realize you were a patron of the arts, Viola. We never really had the chance to chat. What, with you being a science experiment? I wouldn't piss off the big guy. <sighs> Look, I'm not here to fight. We need to work together. Right. Johnny's dead because of you. Johnny's dead because he thought he could do everything on his own. So what's in it for you? I get to watch Kilbane suffer. Can you play nice? I am always gentleman. What is that? Nothing good. Let's go. Saints have taken cover with one of the De Winter sisters. We're about to move in. Roger that. Contact me once you secure the area. Yes, Commander. Let's hope the front's clear. Who were those guys? Soldiers of some sort. So I don't recognize the uniforms. Well, whoever it is, they don't like us. Kilbane hiring out his muscle. He thinks his luchadors are unstoppable. I doubt he'd ask them to sit this out. So it's someone new. Wonderful. <laughs> Laser guns. You gotta be fucking kidding me. That's your sword, dude. Is that? They've cut the power to the elevator. I'll see if I can fix it. They're dropping soldiers off up here. I love a good fight.
need someone to pin the blame on if this guy's tits up. It's time to leave. We'll be safe if we make it to the flat. You sure you can get us there? Yeah, like 50% sure. Maybe 30. something on this scale. I don't think these guys are on anyone's side. Then we'll have them in. Worry about that later. Now it's time for the Saints to teach them a lesson. My name is Cyrus Temple, commander of the Special Tactical Anti-Gang Unit. I'm here to answer your questions about the STAG initiative. Okay, so how long, excuse me, sir, one question, please. How long will STAG be occupying Steelport? There is no occupation. We have the full support of Mayor Reynolds. How will STAG impact our daily lives? When we win the war on urban terror, you and your families will be safe again. Sir, that's not what I asked. Let me tell you about Jessica Parrish, a girl from Stillwater who ran away from home to be with her tough guy boyfriend. 
Jessica thought her life was pretty sweet until a gangbanger kidnapped her, threw her in the trunk of a car, and laughed as her boyfriend crushed her in a monster truck rally. If Jessica Paris was your daughter, how far would you want me to go? Thank you for your time. Good, it's you. Yes, it's me. And? Sorry, I was reading. Four crimes attributed to the Deckers have been popping up. Anything we can use? Possibly. I... Oh, that's not good. What? What isn't good? We'll need another person. Maybe Shondi. Meet me at Smiling Jack's Diner. Kinsey? <sighs> Shit. What's up? You need to see this. Fortunately, this exclusive footage has come to light. And with us live, the man responsible, Eddie Kilbane Pryor. Thanks for being here, Eddie. My pleasure, Jane. And please, call me Kilbane. Very well. Kilbane, there are some who claim you're a criminal. No, no. Jane, my dear, please. The saints are criminals. Call me eccentric, but I'm just an entertainer slash businessman slash philanthropist slash... We get it. Where are they? No idea. They're broadcasting from an undisclosed location. Well, fucking disclose it! <sighs> I might be able to triangulate where they're shooting if you go to the broadcast towers and... We're on it. Asshole's gonna trash the Saints on air. He already is. I'm sitting with a man the wrestling community has called the Walking Apocalypse. Is such a moniker intended to frighten your fans as well as your foes? Not at all. It's an inspiration to all my fans. Fuck him. Who the, the fuck does this prick think he is? Man. And what about those that don't share that opinion? Some may call that preying on the weak. It's the ones who see each person. We're here, Kinsey. What's next? I sent you coordinates to several radio towers. Head to the first one and let me know when you've landed. And you're... Before the break, you mentioned the kids you've helped. Ah, uh, yes. Kilbane's Crunch Camp. <laughs> it's a two-month summer program that gets kids off the streets and into the ring. There's been some concern from parent groups. Well, that's because parents are putties. Maybe they should focus on a real threat, like the Third Street <laughs> Saints. Strong words. Kids fall down and get hit with steel chairs all the time. <laughs> I'm just providing a for this to happen. Me, parents are buying their kids. I see Deckers. They probably use these antennas for the Decker you set. It's not surprising they leave guards. Thanks for the heads up. Use the transmitter I left under the seat. Place one next to the radio antenna, then head to the next tower. How much of this city you think she's monitoring? Who cares? As long as she isn't bugging my bedroom. Oh, that's mental. She wouldn't do that. You sure about that? Well, now I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Thanks. We're back with our exclusive interview. The controversy over your match against your former partner, Angel de la Muerte. <laughs> People keep talking about a controversy when there isn't any. There can only be one legend. We fought, he lost, I won. If Angel de la Muerte was to come out of hiding, would you face him in a rematch? Without his mask, he's nothing, less than nothing. The dirt under my boots gets more respect from me. To consider a rematch would mean admitting he's still worthy of my time. Let's hope he's not out there listening in. 
But to everyone else, we'll have more with... Kinsey, where do you nick these transmitters? It's safer you don't know. What do you mean, safer? Well, probably means that it's safer if you don't know. Look, they work, that's all that matters. What are we gonna do about that video the press has? Who cares? Let PR worry about that. People think we blew up a landmark. I don't think it's that easy. Then what the hell do we pay them for? Covering up the small shit. When was the last time we did small shit? That's all sorted. Hooking this thing up. There, got it. Sending the coordinates of the van. Van? A broadcasting van. It's where the signal is being sent from. They're inside it? No. Use the laser signal tracker to help me find the broadcast location. What the hell are you jabbering on about? The light on the helicopter. Shine it on the van. Great. They're running. We must have spooked them. Nice work, Kinsey. Now let's get him good and riled. What are you gonna do? Okay, patching yourself through. <laughs> Looks like we have a caller. You're on the air with Kilbane. What's your question? Listen up, you tubby wad of goo. I'm sorry. Do you have a question for me? Yeah. I'm gonna march down there and step on your bloody throat. Um, uh, perhaps this has gone just a bit too far. I'm not sure that's a question either. It sounds more like a threat. I don't make threats, mate. I make promises. Okay, we need to... Ooh! Someone talked to a washed-up wrestler, and now... This they... looks like the place. Clear him out, quick and quietly. Quietly? Quiet-ish? Sad 
excuse for a fight. Okay, that was impressive. Is kill bang. I bet that reporter knows. Let's ask. We gotta get through them first. It's been a while. You look good. Where's Kilbane? He mentioned heading north. You, you're you not after me about the interview, are you? Back in the boat. We're going after Kilbane. Let's put a bullet in that son of a bitch. Get you above him. Just keep it steady so I get a shot. Make it count, love. Gotcha. Damn it! What did you do? What did I do? I don't fucking know. Learn to fucking fly! Ow. Uh. You all right? I had him. I know, I know. It's not your fault. Something weird happened. Oh, shit. We stag in town. We need to be careful, Pierce. Huh? Oh, yeah. I totally agree. Look, our place might be compromised. Uh-huh. Whatever you say. And we should get some horses and mount a charge on stag. All right. I'll get on that. Damn it, Pierce. I'll be over in a bit. Sure. See you soon. Pack it up. We gotta move. I got 20K on this game. Damn! Now it's a draw. This isn't over. So? It's not safe here. You guys clear this place out, I'll buy you some time. Pierce is loading the trucks. I will create a distraction at the park. We should spread him thin. I'll start at one of the stag bases. Goes the pack up. Slow. We got a lot of shit. We'll just bring the essentials. What do you think I'm doing? Not the chessboard. Man, that's cold.
There must be something good here. I'm going for another ball. That's all their mobile base locations. You can head out, bitch. I've got stag on you. We're holding down the convoy now. I'll let you know how the streets are looking. <laughs> oh, it's like a helicopter fucked a jet. Let's try spinning. That's a good trick. Reports coming in of saints and trucks. Find them and destroy those vehicles. That was a nice work, that. Time to hit him where it hurts. Looks like Sag left a roadblock ahead of us. Without help, we ain't getting by. possible sink vehicles. Thank 
want eyes on the target at all times. Of course the same one. Enforcements are rolling out. plane flying in and they've got company. You serious? Just keep going. I'll figure something out. I'm Joshua Burke. Hey, on TV I play Nightblade, an exceptionally good-looking but misunderstood vampire who risks life and limb every week to keep the world safe. The men and women of Stag put their lives on the line every day to protect your city against gang violence. Want to be a real-world hero? Talk to your Stag recruiter today. I know I have. Nightblade's the face of Stag. Why don't you just put someone in a fucking deer suit? Hearts and minds will win the war, my dear. Shock and awe wins war, Senator. Authorize the Daedalus, and this will all be over. Absolutely not. That kid's gonna get himself killed. Well, you ensure Josh Brooks' safety, or I'll find someone who can. Understand? Yes, ma'am. 